It was a one-match show, but what a match it was. I'm John Rectum with my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's and Taku 2021 Night 2 event. So due to a positive test, certain people need to be removed from the card, along obviously with the person that tested positive. So Okada, Sho, Kanemaru, Suzuki, as well as El Desperado and Yo got removed. Uh, as part of the precautionary measures, it totally makes sense, and hopefully whoever tested positive recovers 100%. Hopefully anybody that came in contact, they're okay, and hopefully you're okay and staying as safe and sound as possible as we get through this and enjoy some professional wrestling. Now, yeah, this was a one-match card. There was one point in a multi-man match where I was like, why the fuck did they need to do that? But nothing offended me nearly as much as the Iron Fingers from Hell ladder match and just all the bullshit and everything, and check out my review of that if you want. Anyway... Dangerous Techers and Doki versus Grills of Destiny and Jado. The usual fair and Jado tap out to Zack Sabre Jr. We're going to get Jado's stick versus Doki's pipe. It's going to be either a ladder match or on a pole match. Vince Russo has struck New Japan. Oh, please no. That would be so goddamn bad. Uh, they wouldn't know, um, you know, what the fuck he's on about. Nobody that speaks English knew what the fuck Vince Russo was on about. But watch them do something really stupid because they just can't keep Jado out of the goddamn ring. when He shouldn't be in the ring. Yeah, it's going to be pipe versus stick, and I'm going to hate it. But anyway, yeah, Zack Sabre Jr. made uh, Jado tap out, as he should have. So Ishimori and Yujiro versus Watto and Tenzon, and man, they are desperate to drum up interest in Master Watto's character. And, well, I thought they'll have Watto pin uh, Yujiro, and it will build to Ishimori versus Master Watto in one of the stadium shows, either May 15th or in the Dome at the end of the month. Nope, bloody cross on Watto, one, two, three. Well, thanks for coming, Watto. Why would I care about seeing this match now? I mean, seriously, it's like, I mean, obviously Ishimori would have won the singles match anyway, but it's like, okay, now you just made it where nobody could possibly buy into Master Watto winning. It is one loss, but still, it's just really weird. Yujiro is right there. He always takes the pin. Anyway, United Empire minus Will Ospreay, who's in the main event, versus LIJ minus Shingo, who's also in the main event. It'd be a bit weird if Ospreay was trying to face himself. It'd be very, very strange. So, yeah, Okan is shit. I said it before. I'll continue to say it. The guy's a goddamn sack of shit. The gimmick sucks. I like what they're doing with Aaron Hanare. I like Jeff Cobb. And Bushi's also there. Bushi has really cool masks, and he's a bit flashy and everything. But Sonata and Naito were the stars here of their particular team. And jumpstart by the Empire. And I really hope they don't have Hanare take the pin. Thankfully, they didn't. Uh, we got a tour of the islands on Bushi, but not before Cobb hit the Kabagoye because he wants to face off against Kota Ibushi, and I'm all for seeing that match. Ibushi will likely win, but that'll be a damn good match. It'd be, you know, just power versus Cobb's insane agility and power, and good God, yes, inject that match into my veins. Match wasn't all that bad, but again, Okan is a sack of shit. So, Yano, Tanahashi, and Taguchi versus Evil, Jay, and Dick. Dick is back in the ring among five other men. This was supposed to be part of the previous uh, tag match with Wato and Tenzan and Ishimori and Yujiro <coughs> because it was supposed to be a ten-man tag, but they had to be shifted around, so they thought on the fly. Okay, great. They did a weird hair-pulling human centipede spot where Taguchi knocked them all down. They all took a bump. So, yeah, I checked out after that. Low blow, and uh, Dick got, you know, rolled up one, two, three. I hated that. I really hated that. And I liked some of the guys involved, but seriously, that was... I don't mind comedy, but that just wasn't fun. Taguchi can wrestle. Yeah, I just didn't see the necessity to do that. Even There's entertaining there. It's like, why? What the fuck is that? So, boy, that new championship looks like shit. The IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Intercontinental Ship. No, I know. It's the World Heavyweight Championship. It's just... Torpedo in the lineage that, you know, great talents, you know, built and everything. I just, I don't really care for it. I, I think it's a bad move. I don't mind trying new things, but this didn't work. Shingo with the United Empire in his corner, but they're all, they're just seconds. They're not going to interfere, and they didn't interfere. He took on Shingo Takagi, and it was the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match. And I got to say, really goddamn good stuff. Better than the New Japan Cup Finals. The instant I saw how much time they had left, I said, holy shit, they are giving us a lot of time. Because even though it included the backstage comments, this video nearly ran three hours, and the match started at like an um, hour and like 43 minutes. Almost said a minute 43 seconds, and good God, that would have been a long match, two and a half hours. But it started slow, as you would expect. These guys know each other really well. It doesn't eclipse what they did at the Best of Super Juniors. I don't know if they're ever going to capture that kind of magic, because you really can't. Sometimes you just capture that lightning in a bottle, but this was, this was damn close. These two know each other well. They had great counters, great strikes, guardrail spots, of course, you know, apron, uh, backdrop, the hardest part of the ring, if you didn't know. 
uh, we get the tables out, and then they uh, duel with the tables, and I thought a table shot to the head would knock some sense into Will Ospreay, but as Gorilla Monsoon would say, highly unlikely. Will you be serious? And then uh, Will focused on the arm, which makes sense, uh, take out the pump and bomber, but also, you know, stop Made in Japan, especially the last of the dragons. And we get that really heavy chop, not as loud as one that he had to just sound like a goddamn rifle shot, but... Still really loud, more arm targeting, then we get to suplexes, things start to pick up, really good stuff, Spanish fly off the top for two, shooting star for two, made in Japan through two tables, that was pretty goddamn brutal, Will's back got cut up, hopefully he's alright there, that was pretty intense, and then, um, you know, he got, uh, Shingo got caught, you know, in a cutter off the ropes, second off cutter for two, strikes GTR in the ropes by Shingo, yeah, Shingo Cutter. Holy shit, a pop-up cutter. Pumping Bomber for two. The Poison Rana duel. I hate the Poison Rana in any company. I hate it. I don't care how safe people are. It is what it is. They're wrestlers. They can do what they want, but I just don't care for it. Hidden Blade, and then Arm Under the Rope. Oh no, he didn't. He couldn't hit the Stormbreaker either. He couldn't get the pin there. What the hell's gonna happen? Pop-up DVD? No, so we get clotheslines. It's another Spanish fly. Strikes of plenty. We get headbutts. I'm, after what happened to Shibata, I think I take the headbutts out, but it is what it is. Rainmaker by Osprey to telegraph even more that Osprey is going to want revenge on Okada. Hidden Blade, Stormbreaker 1, 2, 3. He wants redemption for what happened in the Dome. Okada's winning that championship at the end of May because he's going to be the main spokesperson for the Tokyo Olympics. So thanks for coming, Will Osprey. Not that I'm complaining because I would prefer to have Okada, even with a bad back, as champion. Be very surprised if Will Osprey retains, but... They've shocked us before for good and bad. So, yeah, that main event was pretty fucking terrific. It may end up being on my favorite matches of the year list. Still need to think about it. 45-minute matches sometimes are a bit hard to, like, you know, it's like, do I really want to relive it, whatever. But, you know what, this was definitely better than ever Openweight Championship because this didn't feel like it dragged, in my opinion. Anyway, agree, disagree, what I said. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ritland. I'll see you soon.